All right, here we are. This week we'll be working in the cabin. Um, more particularly, the floor. As you can see, I got most of the old temporary floor out, that crappy laminate flooring that I had. It's up in the cockpit now. Um, so what the plan is, is to lay down a subfloor uh, made with uh, probably like half inch ply. And then I'll go over that with um, a completely waterproof floating floor. To get the proper measurements, um, I'll take some, I'll draw a center line, and then I'll take some measurements across every, um, geez, probably every like couple inches, just to make sure it's just about as right as it can be. And I'll trace it out on some foam board, lay that down, trim where I have to, most likely around here, and then from there we'll uh, trace it onto the ply. Okay, so here we are on the kitchen floor, and uh, my cat Thunder wants to help. So what the plan is, is I took this uh, project, these uh, project folders, or whatever the heck they're called, um, and I'm lining them up to try to make a template out of them. So I'll tape it together, and from there I'll be able to uh, make my templates according to my measurements. Yeah, so measuring this and cutting it out hasn't been as good as I thought it was going to be. Not nearly as clean as it should be. But I guess there's many ways to do this, and this is the way I'm doing it. Well, actually, let me rephrase. If I say there's many ways to do something, that usually means that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But take it for what it is. Um, this is where we are right now. Um, I still got to trim up this side clean up this side a little bit um, and then I'll jump in the boat and see if it fits. Alright so here's a finished template. It came out a little less than Stella but it should be fairly accurate. I mean after all I measured it. You should see the expression on my face. Okay anyways um, alright let's uh, bring it outside and test fit it. You know, I feel like all I do is work and work on this boat. It's 8 o'clock over here in Rhode Island. It's pitch black. And <laughs> we're in April. And it's actually starting to snow a little bit. I got all the batteries out of the boats. So there's no light. So it might be a little difficult to see here. Um, Alright, where are we? this around and so far it doesn't look too damn yeah, that's that's yeah, fucking off a little bit but I think that's gonna be okay because when I lay the when I cut the uh, when I trace this template onto the plywood I can make a small a couple small adjustments I can expand it here and there you know with a compass so, yeah, it looks pretty decent, actually. Yeah, that's pretty much actually, that's... And when I rebuild this bulkhead over here, um, the ply will actually go right over this. So, it's actually pretty close. All right. Not too bad. All right, it's uh, kind of late now. I think I'm going to call it a night. And tomorrow, I'll pick up some ply. Um, I'll treat it. And then I'll pick up the uh, laminate flooring. And if the uh, plywood is dry, then I'll, um, then I'll just go ahead and uh, glue the flooring onto the plywood. Let that sit overnight and then get this thing in.
food. Today we're going to be uh, putting this floating floor over the subfloor. Subfloor has been about 24 hours since I put the resin on, so it's cured. And uh, now we're going to attempt to to put this uh, floating floor, which is not really ideal in boating situation, but it stays really dry down in the cabin. So I'm going to try to use it. And my original plan <clears throat> was to uh, lay this floating floor on the subfloor, cut it out somehow, but it'd be kind of difficult doing that because it'd be sliding around, even if I clamped it, and then take it off and then um, fiberglass the subfloor uh, into the cabin. Uh, I changed my mind because there's some more electrics, um, electronics that I want to run throughout the cabin, and I'm going to be running wires underneath the, uh, you know, underneath the sole, so it might be a hassle if I forget to do something or if I want to add something, then, the, you know, once this subfloor is already laid down, I wouldn't be able to take it out. So what I'm going to do now is lay the floating floor over the subfloor. Um, I'll, I'll uh, adhe adhere it with some PL, uh, with some PL glue, and um, I'll let it sit overnight. Tomorrow, like 15, 16 hours later, it should be glued pretty well, and at that point, I'll trim up the sides to, you know, for the excess to fit the subfloor. Here I am just applying some of this PL to the subfloor. I guess I'll use a liberal amount. Alright, now I'm just going to spread this PL using this trowel. And I'll have to use this one because I can't find my notched one. But this will work. All right, so the floor is finally in. Um, I thought it was going to be kind of hard to do, and, well, I was right. You know, once I laid the uh, PL glue onto the plywood, the subfloor, quote-unquote, and then tried to put the floating floor on, um, it was sliding around. So it was a you know, pain in the ass, really. But anyways, it's in. Um, now we have a couple decisions to make. We have this carpet over here and over here. And one of the, and we could either remove the carpet and put a new carpet that comes down and covers the sole, so it kind of um, lines up nice, and you don't see this huge void. Or we could fill the void with chop strand and smooth it out to the hull, and then tape it off on both sides and um, um, paint it with a non-slip, a light gray or well, whatever the hell color. Uh, what do you think? Fill the void with shop strand. Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Yep, and then when that's done, I'll be able to finish this, replace this bulkhead over here. I'll come right down, I'll uh, made up nice to the sole. So my plan when I record these videos is to complete the entire video. However, this video is getting long, and at that point it takes a while to upload. I also don't want to flood the board at all. As you can see, the floor is almost complete. It's Saturday, and by early next week, it will be completely done and uploaded, thank God. I obviously don't do this for a living. That's why it takes me a while to get not only the projects done, but also to get the video edited, etc. You know, I can only imagine how frustrating it must be to watch some dude struggle with project and editing. But anyways, please subscribe to my channel, and I promise videos in the channel as a whole will get better, especially with the help of y'all. So comment below and let me know what I can do to make this better, especially the audio. Until then, I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching.